Hello everybody, if you're looking to create a firearm website, you're at the right place. Now you might be trying to get into the business of selling firearms or selling guns online, or maybe you're an existing FFL dealer, or you have a local store and you want to start selling online. You will need a user-friendly website where your customers can find the firearms, find the ammo that they're looking for, add to cart and check out. Now there's a little detail here because you cannot ship firearms to your house. They need to be shipped to an approved and licensed federal firearm dealer. Most e-commerce platforms out there don't have an FFL functionality. So at Optimum 7, we have built this functionality and we integrate with the ATF's database and we give you a checkout functionality where your users can enter their zip codes and their city, see all the approved and licensed FFLs, select an FFL which locks the shipping so that they can't change their shipping. It needs to be shipped to an FFL. They enter their billing address and they check out. Now, depending on the state that firearms are shipped to, there are different regulations. For example, you cannot have ammo and firearms in the same cart. It needs to be two different carts. It needs to be two different shipping addresses. At Optimum 7, we know the details of everything that has to do with selling firearms online. And when it comes to design, we have designed hundreds of these websites. Watch the rest of the video to see a couple of examples of the firearm sites that we've built. And if you have any questions, please reach out to us. You can visit our website at Optimum7.com or you can email us at info at Optimum7.com. So when you are starting this website, this firearm website from scratch, and again, of course you have to be licensed, but I would expect that there are around 10,000 businesses who do over half a million dollars, firearm dealers who don't have an online visibility. If you were a local business, a local firearm dealer, why would you want to sell online? Well, of course, I would like to increase my visibility. Uh, I'm just increasing my, my potential reach uh, with, with customers. And we know that regardless of whether you're local uh, or whether you're a, a national platform, a consumer doesn't it doesn't matter. Uh, the majority of these consumers are buying online and now they're forced to buy online. They're not going into the stores. So it doesn't matter if you're a local store you should be online because your consumer could potentially be a couple states away. Got it. So if you have a license to distribute and sell firearms, you're definitely registered with the ATF and you're definitely registered with your uh, local municipality. Uh, there is no limitation in terms of you being able to sell these guns online. But again, like we said, from a compliance standpoint, you have to have certain functionalities. For operational reasons, you have to have certain functionalities. I guess one of the first functionalities, Joe, that we're very familiar with is the FFL lookup and being able to ship to FFL. Yeah. Can you tell us shortly about how that functionality works? Absolutely. So if you're a, um, a firearms dealer, an online firearms dealer, if you're ever going to ship a firearm or ammunition, you need to ship that to another firearms dealer that has a that is a firearms license, a federal firearms license dealer. So uh, what the FFL functionality allows you to have on your site is it allows a consumer to find automatically just by typing in their zip code, the closest FFL dealers within their areas to select as a ship location. So this is a great functionality that in the past didn't really exist and kind of made it very difficult for consumers to buy firearms online and for gun dealers to sell online. And now this kind of just streamlined the whole process. Uh, one of the biggest issues that we've encountered in the past were federal firearms uh, licensed dealers having an expired license and that not being updated. So something like that where you ship it and now all of a sudden that individual cannot receive their firearm and needs to get now shipped back. A logistical nightmare in some cases that now has this functionality has resolved. Got it. And every state has different regulations. For example, uh, I think in most states, you cannot ship a firearm uh, with, the with the ammo in the same cart. Like you're not allowed to buy it in the same cart. And California and a couple of other states, you cannot ship ammo to a buyer. You have to ship it to an FFL. I think in every single state, you have to ship a firearm uh, to a specific home. So again, if you look at this from a functionality standpoint, you have to, in your e-commerce site, you have to be able to mark which products are firearms, which products are ammo, which products are specific kinds of magazines. And also you need to be able to identify 
as they enter their zip code with state you are shipping because the functionality and the state is going to change based on the zip code that you're entering and the regulation is going to change. So your website needs to be dynamic throughout the purchase process. Now, this is one functionality about regulation and every online gun dealer needs to have this FFL functionality, but there are other functionalities, Joe. Uh, can you name us three more? I would say that upsell functionality, for sure. Anything like additional warranty, being able to pay for warranty for your gun or for um, shipping insurance for your firearms, that those are great upsells to, that allow you to increase your average order value. Any type of cross-sell functionality. We know that if you're most likely gonna be purchasing this firearm, we know that this is the ammunition or this these are the magazines that you would typically use with that firearm. Therefore, again, another upsell opportunity there, cross-sell opportunity there. So there are multiple functionalities that these firearm dealers can use based off of the data that's on the back end. And that's the most important thing that you you know you said earlier. You need to be able to identify which products are what within your back end so you can have this functionality display in the front. Correct. So if from a user standpoint, from your buyer's standpoint, when they go and they're about to buy, let's say, an AK-47 rifle, you want to sell warranty with that. And if they add to cart, it should pop up and it should say, look, you know, you can purchase a, an unlimited warranty on this for, I don't know, $40, three years, because warranties are 90% profit. And statistically, um, people don't take advantage of warranties. It's just the way it is. That's why they're so popular and, and so profitable. So it's something that you should have on your site. We even have clients who sell, uh, they, they sell insurance on the shipping, additional insurance on the shipping. So there are a ton of functionalities, but these are some of the main ones. Joe, let's talk about the backend operations, inventory, because we have clients who had issues with equalizing inventory. They're selling, they might be selling on different platforms. Maybe they list their products on eBay. They sell on gun deals. They sell on their website. They sell in their local stores. And inventory-wise, in the back end, I mean, it's nice to get orders, a thousand, two thousand orders, but processing this can be a nightmare as well. What have we done in terms of optimizing these processes? So basically, what we do is we understand your back end operation uh, from the again the shipping regulations, not being able to ship a firearm and ammunition within the same packaging. So understanding how that what that means on your inventory management system. Um, as well as if you're selling on third-party marketplaces, a lot of these gun dealers don't just sell firearms. You know, they'll, they'll sell other things, you know, scopes, obviously, um, sometimes apparel, depending on the size of the store. And they want to maximize their visibility. They want to maximize their profits. So they're going to additional marketplaces such as Amazon and eBay and Walmart. However, the sale of firearms is restricted on those platforms. So how are you now going to push non-firearm related products to those platforms while ensuring that a firearm doesn't accidentally slip through the cracks and all of a sudden your Amazon goes down, you get banned. Correct. And this has this has happened. I mean, if your team makes a mistake and they don't mark an item as a firearm and it is a firearm and it shows up on Amazon, Amazon will ban your account within five right minutes. Right then and there. So like you said, you said the right word, nightmare. It could be an absolute nightmare, especially if you're talking about 50, 60, 100,000 SKUs, you know, it, it could truly be a, a nightmare for your operation. So again, like Joe stated, we talk to you, we have conversations and we understand your backend operation. And we also built specific processes for compliance standpoint. I mean, the website functionality is one thing. You can limit who orders on the website, but in the backend, you also have to validate that information. If somebody comes to your site, selects an FFL, it's your job as the gun dealer or the firearm dealer to validate that that FFL is accurate, right? And that you have the FFL certificate on file. And if you have to do this manually every time, trying to call a, a federal firearm dealer, hey, can you send me, email me this, that, you need a database for this. And a lot of people don't have it. So going back to the beginning of the conversation, these are all the things that you will need as a firearm dealer to be able to run a multi-million dollar operation. So if you're going to be looking for a hosted e-commerce solution, we suggest Big Commerce. Uh, Shopify does not allow the sale of firearms on their platform. Uh, so Big Commerce is the best solution for you guys. Uh, and then, of course, if you're going to look 
for uh, an open source platform. You have uh, WooCommerce, which you know isn't isn't the best out there, but it's definitely doable. Uh, Magento two and uh, OpenCard 3D Card. These are all open source solutions that you can look at. Uh, however, our our recommendation is definitely BigCommerce. Yep. And if you guys uh, would like a discount on your BigCommerce store, please reach out to us, and we're happy to do an intro and get you guys maybe a 90 day trial and a, a free template on BigCommerce so you can test BigCommerce. But other than that, if you have any questions, let us know. Uh, we've been doing uh, firearm websites probably for the past eight years, and we'll talk to you guys next week. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel for more videos on marketing, e-commerce, custom development, and much more. Plus, new episodes of Surge, our weekly e-commerce and digital marketing podcast released every Wednesday.